And he's giving a thumbs up and I'm giving him a thumbs down on his Botox results, you guys. Beautiful, wrinkle-free forehead, but at what cost? Hey everybody, it's Dr. Barrett. We're here in Beverly Hills and I'm about to go through some examples of botched Botox and filler. So as we go through, if you have any questions, comment, feedback, please leave it here, right here on my YouTube page. I will get back to you, I promise. I am gonna go through these examples. These are not my patients, and I don't wanna scare people that are thinking about getting injectables. What I want people to do is I want you to be educated about where you decide to go, okay? My recommendation is you go to a board certified plastic surgeon to get any injectable procedures. This is your face. And as you're gonna see through some of these examples, some bad things can happen if you're not careful. This is a Spock effect. If you remember Star Trek, whatever his name is, Spock, you know, right? he had those little pointy ears and he had a little pointy eyebrows. That happens when you don't do Botox evenly across the forehead. So when someone does a little cookie cutter example, right, of Botox, just like they learn in the textbook, that's what they tell you to do. But if you miss this lateral portion, you gotta follow the muscle. If you miss this lateral portion, you get the Spock effect and that's exactly what's going on here. Looks kind of funky, looks weird. So make sure you go to somebody with a lot of experience and make sure that they follow the muscle when it comes to Botox, okay? We're on to our next one. All right, so this is an example of overdoing the Botox. So if you are over 50 years old and you get Botox on your forehead for these lines across the forehead, you have to be very careful that your brow doesn't drop, okay? So when I do someone who's over 50 and has this much laxity, I make sure I do a lifting procedure here with Botox here, here, and also on the sides, okay? What that does is it lifts the brow up here so that way you don't get as dramatic of a fall. Now this actually, over time, will settle back up for this particular patient, but it's awful uncomfortable, it's awful difficult. Sometimes it interferes with vision if it's droopy enough. So you have to be aware that if you're a first time Botox person over 50, this could happen to you. You get the, the dreaded droopy brow, okay? That's different from a droopy eyelid. A droopy eyelid, someone goes too deep when they do your 11s and they get down to the bone and that filters down to the levator muscle of the eyelid and you get a little droopy eyelid, all right? So that's not what's going on here, but this is an overdoing of the Botox and not preparing the patient for uh, forehead line reduction. But the good news is it's not permanent, it'll wear off. All right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Um, there is a combination of bad things going on here. You can see the Spock effect that we talked about. That's going on here and this, this part right here. It's probably going on here, her hair is covering it. Her eyes are now, her no longer this beautiful like uh, almond shaped eyes. They're very round and circular so it had a really dramatically negative effect. Her lips are way overdone. There's probably some Botox that's been done in and around the face in addition to some filler here that's just way too overdone. And you know what, the sneaky desire that a lot of people have is to keep filling until all the wrinkles disappear, but that's not the right way to do it. Filler is not the answer. Filler is only one component. Botox is only one component of four things you need to do for a face. And if you need a facelift, filler is not going to accomplish a facelift for you. Next one up. So you're at a party, it's about to be New Year's. Have a little bit of glass of wine, your blood's nice and thin, and then there's a doctor there or there's somebody there who's injecting Botox and fillers as part of the party. So that's what happened in this particular situation. Uh, we stole this off the news. This nice young woman got way overdone and had way too much bruising with whatever injection was done. And I'm, I'm hoping it was a licensed product. I'm hoping it was not raw silicone put in here, but you can tell that she, again, she has a Spock effect going on with the Botox. She has way overdone lips, and she also has an allergic reaction. So I don't know what the heck was used, but if you're not going to a qualified person or there's someone doing it at somebody's house, and especially if you have alcohol on board, don't do it, all right? Um, there's a reason why I recommend for all my patients not to drink any alcohol for two days prior to the procedure. It's because you can get bleeding or bruising like this. This is not a typical result with lip injections. And you can see she had a beautiful smile, beautiful everything until this happened. And um, this is definitely something you wanna avoid. Don't do Botox parties. Don't you know go to a qualified doctor's office and make sure you do your research uh, before you just let somebody inject a needle into your face because you don't know what they're using. We're on to our next one, you guys. This is Simon Cowell, and he's giving a thumbs up, and I'm giving him a thumbs down on his Botox results, you guys. Uh, way overdone, beautiful, wrinkle-free forehead, but at what cost, all right? He's totally dropped his forehead, and they should have done, if they haven't, they should have done some Botox on the crows to lift 
and to bring this back up. He looks like he's had a stroke and way too much Botox on the forehead. You can tell because there's no lines here, all right? That's not normal. Um, the other thing is he's got way too much filler in his cheeks and that's kind of, kind of giving a round protuberance here, okay? That is not a very natural looking place to fill cheek filler. Generally, when you do cheek filler, you wanna stay medial here. You don't wanna go out lateral like that because it ends up be turning into like saddlebags and coming down on the side like that. And it's affecting his smile, it's affecting everything else. Um, so big thumbs down for overdone Botox and overdone cheek filler. All right guys, next example. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here, but you can see before, you can see after, doesn't quite look natural. If I were her doctor, I would try to taper down some of the cheek filling. Again, it's just way too lateral placement. The eyebrows are too high. That could be from just bad threading or bad tattooing. I never understand why people tattoo their eyebrows. That could be what's going on here. It's hard to tell, I'm not her doctor but definitely you need to work on the Botox and much more natural look. Stay away from this lateral cheek filler. Uh, lips look good, everything else looks pretty good, but these are just some finer touches that you wanna make sure that you get if you are considering Botox or injectables. The key, what I tell all my patients, is be conservative, little bit by little bit by little bit. If the doctor tells you no, listen to him, all right? I say no to a lot of my patients, and guess what? They go down the street to somebody else to do the job, right? And guess what? They end up looking like this. All right, so don't do that. Listen to your doctor. Go to a board certified plastic surgeon or qualified injector. Make sure you do your research. And if you have one of these situations happen, it's okay. Botox and fillers are temporary. There's a lot that can be done, so don't freak out. That's it for our botched Botox examples, you guys. If you have any more questions, please check out my website, drdanielbarrett.com. And again, leave your comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page. And if you wanna see more cool videos like this, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys.